Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we are going to see a new string type question and this question is also very very important for your upcoming on campus and off campus examination. Okay friends, so here is the question jewels and stone problem. Okay, or you can say that how many times individual small a and capital A is present in string 2. So see friends, in your exam exactly this question may not come but you have to know the concept of this question and you have to know how to approach the solution okay so by doing this you will be able to solve similar types of question or you can apply the same methods to the another question okay so the main thing is that you should practice it more and more times okay so my main motive is to boost up your confidence level so that you can solve any new questions or any types of questions so if you are not able to solve it at least you can try it by your own so the question is jewels and stones problem so why the new the question is jewels and stones problem so this is a story so this is the real life scenario but the main thing is that you will be given two strings and you have to find how many times this individual small a and capital a is present inside this string too okay so this is the main thing but in the examination you will see many types of scenarios based on real life okay so here is also jewels and stones problem so you are giving a string jewels representing the types of stones that are jewels and stones representing the stones you have so this is the stone string and this represents the stones that you have okay each character in stones is a type of stone you have so each character of the stones is the stones that you have okay so each character is a stone okay so you want to know how many of these stones you have are also jewels so you know jewels are made from the stones okay so you are given stones and the jewels and you have to find how many jewels are present in these stones okay so letters are case sensitive so small a is considered as different type of stone from the capital a so small a and capital a are different here okay so there is also solution hint so the solution hint is for a stone check if it is a jewel so by using this solution hint you can also try to solve this problem so how we can solve this so for a stone check if it is a jewel or not so this is stones okay this string is a stones but each character of these stones is a individual stone so you have to check if each stone that is this small a and this capital a and this capital a and this p okay so if this characters is a jewel or not so this is jewels and the individual character is a jewel so this is small a is a jewel and capital is a another jewel okay so in this way you can try to solve it by your own okay so now let's try to solve it so okay we'll see here so we'll use the map concept here so what is map so map is a container which can contains the key and the values okay so we can write the map like this map and then inside this we can write the key and then the value okay so suppose this is a map and here will be key and here will be value okay so the key is a and its value is 10 so next the key is v and its value is 20 next the key is c and its value is 30 okay so we can access this map value that is 10 using this key a okay similarly we can access this value 20 using this key b so similarly we can access this 30 using this key c okay so suppose the name of the map is mp so you want to access this 30 so for that right here mp c so c is the name of the key so if you write here mp then inside this write the name of the key then it will access to this value of this key that is 30 okay so we will use this concept here that is for this problem we will use this concept so how we will use this concept so here we are given two strings jewels and stones 
So first we will use a map and in that map we will iterate the strings that is the dual strings okay and we will check each and every character of this string and make its value as true. So here will be small a and here will be capital A okay and when we are iterating we will make this as true okay so right here true so similarly for this capital a also will write here true that is the key will be small a and capital a and its value will be true okay so now our next step will be we'll iterate this string that is the stone string okay so we'll iterate the second string and we'll iterate from the first to last and we'll check in the math if the first character is present that is if the first character is true or not so if the first character is present then we'll increase the count value next we'll check if the second character is present inside the math that is if the second character is true if it is true then we will increase the count value similarly we will do this for rest of the character okay so in this way we can calculate the output okay so this is our approach okay so let's write the code so first of all so first of all we will write the basic format of the c++ that is has include and inside this we will write weeds then standard c++ dot h so why we are writing this bit standard c++ dot is because if we want to use the map or unordered map or some math function or some other built-in strings function then we don't want to include the header files for each built-in function okay and this bit slash standard c++ dot h includes all the header files so for the simplicity of the code we'll write this because this contains all the header files okay so for that we have right here bits slash standard c++ dot h okay so next write the using namespace standard so first we'll write the main function okay inside this main function there will be two strings okay so string jewel and string stones okay so right here string jewels suppose j okay and j contains small a and capital a next string is string stone okay so string stone contains you can see string stones contains this string so let's copy it from here and paste it here okay so now let's write a function suppose the name of the function is jewel in stone okay j in s okay so inside this we'll first this j and this s okay so now before this main function we'll write the same function again and the return type will be integer because here you can see it will return an integer value okay so for that we'll write here the return type as integer so next we'll write the new the function that is j in s okay so here I'll write the two strings that is string j and string s so string j comma string s okay so inside this we'll write a map while we'll write a map because for the string j we'll iterate it and and we'll make each character value as true okay so each character will be the key and we will make it true okay so for that character so first will be character and then will be boolean that is bool okay so why the first will be character and the next will be bool so here you can see we want the character that is small a and capital V as key value okay so the first will be character because these are the characters and the next will be true or false so for that we have a right here so next will be true or false so for that we have right here boolean okay so this is the main thing so next give the name of the map so what is the name of the map 
so you can give it anything suppose the name of the map is mp okay now we'll write a for loop for iterating this j string so for that write here for int i equals to zero so for i equals to zero i less than j dot size and then i plus plus okay so inside this we'll iterate each character of the string j so for that write here mp then j so mp of j that means here will be the string that is j string okay so j of what so j of i so why j of i the string j will be here and it is zero position that is i will be zero and then one and then two and so on okay so j of zero that is this j of zero that is this position okay so this position in the map will make it true okay so this will be true so similarly we'll do it for the next character that is this will be one the i value will be one so j of one will be this capital a and mp of this capital a will be true okay so we'll iterate this string and make each and every character value as true okay so this is the first thing and next we'll iterate this second string that is this stone string and we'll check if the value in the map that is this map if the value in this map is true for this particular character or not okay so for that write a for loop here for int i equals to okay int i equals to 0 i less than s dot size i plus plus okay so inside this for loop we'll check mp of what mp of s that is we are going to check each character of this string s so mp of s of what s of this every character that is the first character and then second so for that we will write here s of i so s of i means so s is the name of the string that is this string will come to here and then the first character of this string that is i equals to 0 so s of 0 that is this a small a will be here so mp of small a is present so for that we will write here if condition if mp of small a is present that is if its value is true so if its value is true then we will increase our count value so our count value will be increased so in this way we can iterate all the string and if this individual small a or capital a is present inside these stone strings then we will increase the count value okay so we have not declare and initialize this count so for that write here count in count equals to zero it's initial value is zero okay so finally we'll go outside of this for loop and we'll return this count value so return count okay so this will return the count value okay so this complete so let's run it okay there is no output okay we have not write here c out for that write here c out and this will print the output to the screen okay our output is 3 and this is perfect output so here you can see our output was 3 okay so let's check it by giving another input like x o y and z so x y z jewels is not present inside these stones so it will show zero output so let's run it and see so our output is zero so this is perfect so hope you understand this question and the concept of this question so hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video share it with your friends and your whatsapp group also and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet then please subscribe it now because it will be helpful for your upcoming examination okay so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care